Well, hey guys, Thorzax here, and uh, what we're going to talk about today is uh, we're going to talk a little bit about hand loading, and, and if you guys are uh, a little bit intimidated about hand loading, um, I'm going to show you probably one of the most easiest ways that you can get into hand loading. Uh, ballistic products. Knife secured uh, some shotgun slugs from them and what I've got is I've got the LBC Sabo okay and what this is it's a 20 gauge shotgun slug okay that's encased in a Sabo and it's already got its attached wadding and everything like that you, you, you don't have to do anything to this this is very very simple um, I also went ahead and got some Fiocchi holes. These are about 18 cents a piece, which makes it kind of nice because, you know, if you go out there to the range and say, like, you shoot your shotgun shells and they get all tore up or they're all, you know, mangled or something like that or whatever when they come out, uh, you can just throw these away, you know? Um, you know, and, and, you know, if you want to save them, uh, you know, uh, we'll see how that turns out when we take them out to the range. So, not really sure yet. Uh, so uh, anyway, I've got the 7 8 ounce um, LBC Sabos, and I also have the DGS 12 gauge slugs as well. Now these right here, uh, they're they're quite quite the rig. You got a 12 gauge, you know. You got a 12 gauge slug and and by the way this is kind of like a bi alloy it it has a hardened um, alloy that they use in the top and then in the bottom it's it's mostly lead and uh, so it it's 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 softer in this area than it is in the tip and what happens is when this hits something it expands in this area right here now uh, these these come already attached and everything. This this wadding doesn't come off, and it also you know it has the uh, uh, gas piston and everything to it. So you know your shot wad, and it's very very simple to do these. I mean you can't screw it up. Um, you get their manual slug loading field ab application from LB LBC um, LBT excuse me, and it goes through all of the information that you need right there on how to load them. It's very simple. Um, comes with all the different load data that you're going to need, uh, the different powder you're going to be using, um, you know, for the different slugs that you're going to load, load for. And there's there's all kinds of different slugs that they sell, you know. Um, these are made by Ghiande. And that's an Italian firm, um, you know, over in uh, Europe. And uh, these are world renowned for accuracy. They're they're these are world class slugs. Now I paid roughly twenty dollars for twenty five rounds of these, twenty bucks. But at the same time, I'm shooting you know world class stuff that you just can't buy anywhere else. Um, these, this is your finished product, right there. Very simple. Now I, I used a plastic overshot um, disc, and and the reason why I did that is because I wanted to lengthen the shell a little bit as an experiment to see when this roll crimp here uh, expands out that I'll have enough so I can get another use, a couple of uses out of this 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 case. If I can't use the case again, no big deal. It's 18 cents. I just throw it away. Um, I've been loading those with long shot powder. 40 grains of long shot powder. So it's going to hit with a thump. We're going to be right in there about 1,600 feet per second with a you know one ounce rig like this. I'm going to tell you what that's serious bear medicine. Uh, you know, white-tailed deer, 
you know, even even these, these seven eighth ounce slugs, you know, I mean, there's not much that you're not going to be able to take down with that. I mean, you can load these, believe it or not, you can load these in, you know, the, the three and a half inch magnums and get up to 2,000 feet per second out of these. So, I mean, you know, now you're into a whole different deal. If you have a rifle barrel on your shotgun, what you have here is you actually have a dangerous game rifle instead of a shotgun anymore. So, uh, like I said, they're world renowned for their accuracy. You know, their design. Um, you know, your cushion shot wad, of course, that's very, it, it's very stiff. But l l let me just go ahead and show you the basics here. What you do is that you go ahead and you weigh out your powder. You know, you go ahead and you put your powder in your case. You know, you just go ahead and use your little funnel there. You know, just like that. You just pour it in. You know, measure out 40 grains. And then you take your slug and you just put it down on the side of the case. And you push it all the way down and make sure that you make firm contact in the very bottom with your powder. Make sure that you got it all the way down there. There's no air gap. Okay? And then what you do is you just roll crimp it. Now, um, Ballistic Products sells a, uh, a roll crimper that just about everybody uses now. And you can use it on a hand drill or if you have a drill press, uh, they turn out, you know, like this, like factory. I mean, just, you know, you can't tell that from a factory round. That's excellent. So, YouTube's new policy. Showing someone how to reload is one thing, okay? But showing where they can get the information to reload, uh, hey, you know, uh, all you basically need is your little scale here, you know, your little wowie scale here, and uh, and you're good to go. I mean, you know. <clears throat> now, one thing nice about long shot, long shot can be used in a number of different applications from handgun to shotgun. <clears throat> and with these uh, 20 gauge slugs, uh, this is the LBC, nothing to do with Snoop Dogg. This is the LBC um, shotgun slug. Uh, you just use universal clays. You know? Uh, I'm going to be looking up the load for this and then loading these and then roll crimping them and then taking them out and then we'll have a shooting session out there uh, at the club. i got to talk to the club first. They really don't like 12 gauge being fired on the line because it does tear up the backstop quite a bit. So I might run into a little bit of problem there. I don't know. I don't know if they're talking about buckshot or birdshot. I know one thing on the 50 yard line, it just says flat out, no shotguns. So we'll see. And you know, if that's the case, I'll just have to take it over to the 100 yard and see how these things shoot at 100 yards. So, anyway, that's my video. That's what I wanted to put up there. That's what I've been up to. I've been uh, going ahead and putting these together. And uh, these are Fiocchi, uh, Fiocchi holes. Like I said, they're about 18 cents a piece. These right here are about 20 bucks for, you know, 25, uh, 25 of them. Um, you know, if you already got long shot, you got that part out of the way. Or if you got clays, you already got that out of the way. I mean, uh... You know, you're good to go. So anyway, this is Thor Zax, and I'm signing out, and you guys have a good evening. And uh, if you haven't tuned in to Uncle Jim, Uncle Jim has been doing a series on hobo rounds. And, uh, you know, how to assemble homo, hobo rounds uh, with the Lee key drive. And he's been getting into that. Now, I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to put some loads together uh, I, I still need some information on it. I need to know what kind of powder to use and that sort of thing. But I'm going to be making some pumpkin ball rounds uh, with these hulls. And I just want to make sure that I, I put them together right, you know. This is something you don't want to mess around with. Your shotgun barrels are rated at about 13,000 PSI to 15,000 PSI. Uh, you don't want to have a mistake with a shotgun. You know, I think Timothy Robinson, you know, pretty much summed it up. If you got a pressure problem with a shotgun, it's usually too late. So, uh, that's about it.
So I'll get this uploaded. And uh, I think that's about all I was going to uh, cover. So, until the next video.